Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here. Today I'm sharing a layout from my 2024 art journal and so I'm working in a notebook that my husband gifted me for Christmas and today I'm having a play with the lily pad memory pockets monthly hibernate kit which is from January of 24 and so what I did before printing the products here is I brought in a couple of uh, pattern papers and some of the mixed media elements in the Hibernate kit and printed them out onto uh, just plain white sticker paper. And this, look how easy this makes uh, putting the back ground into the album itself. Um, just trim them out and stick them down and the page is ready to go. And so what I added to the pattern papers here for the background is uh, some of the snowflakes and the stitching. And I've laid them out sort of, you can see there's a, a visual triangle there some of the elements here on the left hand side and some of the elements on the right hand side and those create a home base for the physical elements now that i'm going to add to the layout some of the items i printed on clear sticker paper that's what you're seeing here they are uh just some of the the patterns here and uh, more elements from the collection just to add more uh, depth and detail and uh, um, building up building up layers here without actually yielding a paintbrush which is kind of cool <laughs> so on top of the background here is the uh, in two corners, the upper right hand corner and the lower left hand corner. Um, and then I'm gonna build, continue building on top of that. Now I do have to be careful working on the sticker paper uh, because the clear sticker paper is not going to absorb any kind of watercolor or mixed media. But I thought I would have a play with one of these uh, Tim Holtz stencils. I love these little kits. They come with a stamp set and a stencil. And then I have a watercolor palette. I just lightly sprayed the color I wanted to use. It's like a bronze color. And I thought it would look really cool with the uh, plaid background paper and some of the more bronze elements in the kit. And so I just used a little uh, dauber tool, I guess. Is that what they're called? From Waffle Flower. And uh, rubbed that stencil to get the pattern, another pattern onto the paper. And so then I'm also going to use some of the stamps here. And for these, I'm just using a, a black or brown uh, ink pad. And that's, oh, this one is the, the blue. It's a brighter blue kind of, kind of uh, color. And so that brings a little bit of pop. But I did also use some brown there. Just repeating again. Uh, depending on those uh, home bases that I already established to build the embellishment layers on. I'm also using a line stamp here just to build sort of a little spot he here for uh, some uh, the date stamp. Here, I'm going to go ahead and, and date this the second week of January. <laughs> and 
also repeat those lines in some other places. Again, just creating that repetition. I did want to number this, so I'm grabbing an older uh, week number stamp from Studio Calico from One Little Bird. Uh, this one has been retired a long, long time ago, but it's still handy for uh, week numbers here. So I'm gonna just uh, add that there and repeat that January in some other places as well. blue as well and adding some more stamping with the bright blue color. start adding the elements from the collection and so one of the things that I was going off of were were these little uh, kind of like stamped images in the collection and so I decided I would print a few of those I also added my photo to one of the stamps and again just printed these out on regular sticker paper and I'm just sort of building out the layout around these little squares uh, so I'm debating about this title the winter uh, if I want to put that at the at the bottom of the page there so you'll see that um, just kind of tentatively laying there and I'm also adding a couple of little layers to some of the squares. I added the little trees there above my photo. And then another thing I did was the little top square over here on the uh, right hand side. Um, I've left that blank, but you'll see what I'm going to do with that here in a moment and then I really loved these tree branches here with the little uh, blue seeds at the top so one of those is going down over here from the clear sticker printout and then two are going on the left side from the regular sticker paper printout I also liked this little uh, quote here it says time for pause and reflection i uh, printed that out on the clear sticker paper as well and then repeated it in several places across the layout and then i figured out this little uh winter word or winter word art looks really nice at the bottom of this journaling card I want to add this into the center of my layout. I'm going to set it aside for right now, but I really liked how the word art brought a little bit more color into the journal card. The journal card says to do, and then uh, underneath it says pause, make space, remember, ponder, and rest, and breathe. And I just love that reminder right now in this particular time of year, especially after all of the craziness of uh, 
New Year's and Christmas and Thanksgiving and culminating the year of 2023. And this is an excellent opportunity to make some time to reset and to breathe and to get back uh, to center <laughs> a little bit. And okay, so moving to the left hand side here. I've repeated another one of the squares, but this one is a little bit larger. And I also cut out the calendar piece. That was one of the card, one of the journal cards. And so I added that there next to the uh, larger square, uh, just so that they could accommodate the um, calendar a little bit better. And also, they serve as a focal point here for the left-hand side. Underneath that, I added a little word strip that says Cozy Winter. <laughs> and a couple of the trees and the snowflake. So, now I'm going to uh, figure out how to add this little journal card. And I grabbed some book binding tape. Um, I found this at Blick in Savannah and I really like it it's it's like washi tape but it's a bit more sticky than that and it's built to last so you know that when you put something down using that it's gonna stay and so I've just added that here to one side of the journal card um, but I am gonna make it so that it doesn't show so I'm going to tuck the other end here right underneath the pattern paper and that way it flips nicely and on the back side it gives me a little space for my journaling. And so the journaling that I wanted to write says this week has been so productive because I've had more energy than normal. I've been using that energy to clean up after the holiday mess and also to create. And that feels very good. I am glad for this reminder too. I do need a reset. Um, I think I'm still in reset mode. What about you guys? <laughs> um, definitely uh, trying to go back and forth to breathe mode uh, as the year goes on. So I just um, wrote that in with a regular Uniball pen. Those are my favorites and then uh, hand drew some lines underneath that. I also added a little, uh, a little pause and reset word strip there to add a little bit of color on that, on the back of that card. And then I also, uh, following with the little winter sticker on the front. I went back and added a little snowflake. That looks really cute there. And then this is something I had never thought to do before, but the labels somehow got printed on clear sticker paper. And check it out. You can layer the clear label right over top of the words and it adds a little frame. <laughs> and I thought that was really cute and really clever. All right, at this stage, I'm going to call this layout done. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you back here again very soon. Bye-bye.